There's a big question, the question, going on around right now. Should we forgive Bud Light? Should you forgive Bud Light? Should we do it? They're saying you should probably do it. Bad impression, it's a work in progress, but conservatives everywhere are saying this. Should we forgive Bud Light? They're trying really hard. Now, I think it's be been about a year since Dylan Mulvaney was officially in a bathtub dancing to dancing to hold music, like music you hear when you're on hold at the bank. And I didn't realize this was the actual video. I didn't know. Um... Yeah, so I, I didn't know this was the actual video. It's pretty disgusting. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mince words here. This is a guy in a bikini trying to be a funny girl and it's weird and gross. Okay, we've been over that for a year now, okay? And now Bud Light is coming back and they're saying, please forgive us. Well, not actually saying it, but other people are saying, should we forgive Bud Light? Trump came out and said maybe it's time to forgive Bud Light. Anheuser Bush, he said on Truth, so you know he's not lying. Anheuser Bush is not a woke company. It spends seven hundred million a year with our great farmers, great farmers, employ sixty five thousand Americans. Weird way to write that. I mean, he doesn't like to use zeros for some reason. For that one, fifteen hundred are veterans, and is it is. It is a founding corporate partner of Folds of Honor, which provides scholarships for families of fallen servicemen and women. A great American brand that perhaps deserves a second chance? What do you think? Perhaps instead we should be going after those companies that are looking to destroy America. Now, that's all well and good if if it's genuine. The thing is, is that as it was revealed months ago, he's got stock in it. He's literally got stock in it. Now, I remember Donald Trump Jr. saying... A long time ago, when this first happened, that, you know, it's a great company. They they do all these things. We should probably give them a pass. Do, is Trump Jr. involved in the stock? I don't know. In the portfolio? Does he have access to the books? Does he have the key to the locking drawer? I don't know. But Donald Trump's portfolio certainly insists that he's got between $1 and $5 million in stock under DJT Trust according to the Independent, in Anheuser, Bush, InBev. So they own Bud Light, of course. Business Insider also said this. But I, I think that's a little bit besides the point. I mean, obviously, you're going to want to promote something that you make money off of. Dana White did the same thing. Maybe he should, have been, he should be more forthcoming about that. I don't know. For me, it's not like I drink a lot of Bud Light, but the question is, this brand, this mega brand, was willing to take this stance and say, hey, we agree with promoting this guy who says he's a woman and then gets invited to the White House who then reaffirms this fact and says, what a great woman you are. And they wanted to put their money behind that. So can't they turn the thing around and, and say that they don't believe in that? If they really want people back, they are trying very hard. They've done this uh, commercial here with... Um, you know, post Malone, and um, if you if you haven't seen it, I guess we can watch a bit of it. There's a genie involved, and you know we'll skip a little bit ahead. He's he's granting wishes. He's from the '80s. This guy's invisible. He's got a, a different arm. By now, you've seen it all. Peyton Manning's involved. Um, post Malone's involved, and of course Dana White's also involved here with a little bit of power slap action. That's the commercial. Throw Peyton Manning in there. Throw Post Malone in there. You've got a t Tyrannosaurus Rex, and you've got Dana White. Please buy our beer, right? But should they be forgiven? That's the question that everybody's asking. And like I said, if you're willing to make this stance, if you're willing to make this political stance and be like, this guy, girl, transgenderism, what have you, just imagine something else. Imagine they come out out there and they have a commercial where somebody burns an American flag and you're just like okay don't know if I support that a year later they're trying to get you back but they won't show themselves raising the American flag they won't say we were wrong for that we won't say we love America they're going to do everything other than that so what I'm saying is my standard here is if you're willing to do this and you're willing to make this extreme 
you know, consideration this, this and and you can't say that's not extreme to say that a guy is a girl just because he says he is, right? This is a guy who's a, a Broadway actor, a singer, and he's trying to find a character that works, and, and now all of a sudden he either it's a character or he believes he's a woman, he seems to say that he's a woman, gets rewarded as a woman, you know? And you're willing to support that, but if you're not willing to, to completely come back and say, we don't support this sort of thing, then I don't think anybody should forgive you for that. Now they're doing the right things, of course. Peyton Manning, Bud Light, Post Malone, Pud, Bud Light, Pud Light would be something completely different. Um, hiring the right comedians, hiring the right, you know, sports company or, or paying the right comedian, paying the right sports company. But short of a apology and a stance, say, hey, maybe, maybe men aren't women. And that's the strange thing is you have 50,000 companies that are willing to say, hey, you have to support trans women. You have to support gender affirming care. You guys don't want to be, you, you can't. Be the first company to say, hey, a guy is not a girl. I don't think it's that hard, but I understand it's a second risk they may not be willing to take. And maybe maybe Peyton Manning's not the guy to come out and say that. Maybe, um, maybe a comedian is a better person to come out and say that. But I personally would love to see Peyton Manning come up with a Bud Light and say, listen, where I come from, a man is a man, a woman is a woman. And that's all it has to be. You never have to talk about it again. Maybe you get Kid Rock to do that. Okay. Shane Gillis could be the guy, but I don't think they're going to make him do that. Turn it up, Jordan.